I can't imagine having a child that poorly and having no one that understood that. We wouldn't have been together. No, no. I've... That would have been the first thing. Yeah. That, I mean, that was right from sort of a matter of weeks old. We would have been, it would have been a complete, completely separate unit. Yeah. It's just been everything, hasn't it? Just be really difficult and probably not as fun and a little bit isolating, I think. It is very isolating, um, being a family with, with, such, with big challenges. There could be some really grim times ahead and actually, I don't feel that. I feel like, you know, it's, it's a really positive road ahead because I know when we hit those bumps, you're here to, to help us along the way. There will probably be added worries and anxiety about uh, what would happen in the worst case scenarios. Yeah. We want him to be in a place that he loves they feel comfortable in so that if the inevitable did happen, it would be here. We wouldn't, we wouldn't want it to be anywhere else. I would hate to imagine what it would be like if it wasn't here. You don't want to give up here, do you? No. I remember once he was really quite tired. He didn't. He, he wanted to play, but he he couldn't physically play for too long. So um, they just set him up a little a little camp, little bed with his iPad and the toys out in the play area, because no one knew that he wanted to be near the toys, but he wouldn't necessarily be able to play for too long. And we just felt that they adapted to their his needs and our needs. The children can be completely themselves. There's equipment here that um, we can't access anywhere else. The the trike um, is incredible. It's Rosie's by far Rosie's favourite thing. But likewise with the wheelchair swing, um, the the wheelchair accessible roundabout. You know, they come and they just have an amazing time. It just gives them the freedom to to just play and just be happy and forget about everything else. At the time when we thought Mason was dying, it wasn't sad. To begin with, it was sad for us, but they didn't make it a sad moment. They made the most of every moment. So Little Havens isn't that doom and gloom place. It's, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. She loves being here. She loves being outdoors in the garden. She loves the sensory room. She just loves she loves all the staff here. Um, she draws it. You can see the smile on her face now when we talk about it. For me, as a, a mum, it's having someone that can care for your oh my God, child like I can. It's so hard to find someone to care for your child like you do at home, because I know her inside out. And to leave her somewhere where you know she's going to be safe is a massive thing. Sorry. The smile on his face yeah. means everything, and it, it still does mean everything. But we felt like Bill was missing out on some of his childhood, and that's another thing we blamed ourselves for. But just coming here and seeing him run and smile and play, he was a proper little boy again. You come to realise when you've got a child with, with a severe health condition that actually the, the normal days are they are so important too, yeah. and it doesn't it doesn't actually have to be anything amazing. Just being given quality time with them mm. is what matters, and making that count. And being in a home from home environment here is um, has enabled us to do that and to be at ease and make those memories. Yeah. Don't ever say you're lonely, just lay your problems on me and I'll be waiting there for you. The stars can be so blinding when you get tired of fighting, you know the one you can look to. When the vision you have gets blurry, you don't have We 
love it here, don't we? Yeah. Uh, so what do we want to say to everyone out there that helps? Thank you. Yeah, thank you ever so much. It means the world to us. It means the world. We've met people that in our community that know of Little Havens and donate. We know that people have left their legacy to, to Little Havens. Without that, I hope, I don't know what how it would manage. I don't think anyone can quite understand how much it means to families like us. We really need this, we need that respite. The children need it. We just can't thank, can't thank them enough, really can't. We just want to thank everyone that supports Little Havens. It really does make a difference and it makes every day count for so many families. So thank you so, so much. Thank you. It doesn't bear thinking about that this place isn't here. But without people running marathons and having coffee mornings and um, having stalls at school fates, it wouldn't be here. It wouldn't be here. And I can't imagine what any of the, the families, how any of us would survive. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Because actually every penny that you give is keeping this going.